everyone, Sebastian here from Green Music Productions and today I'm starting a new series of short videos showcasing different plugins that will help you achieve better mixes. I get asked quite a lot what plugin do you use to mix your drums or different instrument so I thought it would be interesting for you guys and I'm always happy to discover new plugins so make sure to let me know what are your favorite plugins for mixing in the comments below. And as usual, if you like that kind of stuff, click the like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Now let's dive right in. So today's plugin is called Auto Align Post 2 by Sound Radix. Now they made a lot of really cool plugins in the past and they actually have another Auto Align plugin that's been there for quite a while, uh, but this is version two and it's also good for post-production. It's a lot more powerful. So I thought I'd show it to you guys and it has to do with phase. Now, we all heard about phase, we all know that it can be bad if, if we're out of phase, but it's really hard to pinpoint what exactly it does to our mixes and how to fix it. So here, for example, I have a drum that I recorded with multiple microphones. I have overheads, kick in, kick out, snare top, snare bottom, tom floor, overkick, and a room. Uh, and This is actually a mono room microphone. So uh, obviously, if we zoom in, we'll find out that it's not in phase at all. It's actually quite out of phase. If we look at the overhead compared to the snare top and snare bottom and same for kick, it's actually completely out of phase with kick uh, and it's a big mess. And what it usually does is it will affect the low frequencies and the low mid. So we'll usually get a thinner sound and it won't be as full and as punchy. So you're starting a mix with an handicap really. And this plugin will really make it easy for you, especially if you're in Cubase or any other DAW that has the ARA capabilities because you can use it as an extension. So it makes it extremely easy. So let's say I want to align this drum right here. I can just select all the tracks, right click on it, choose the extension, auto align post. And just like that, it opens the plugin. And I'm just gonna zoom in in the lower window so you can see what I'm doing. And it's asking me to select a reference. Now this reference will actually be used to align everything else to it. So in this case, I'll select the overhead left as a reference. And right now it's aligning everything else to the overhead left. So just as a reference, I'm gonna bypass the extension and we'll just listen to uh, the drum without the alignment first. It's all right, but I've heard some phasing. Uh, let's try with the alignment enable now. Now it's a lot better, especially in the low mids. Let me play it again and I'll toggle it on and off. Off. Wow, it becomes a lot more focused, a lot punchier, and I gain some low end just with the click of a button. So it is really, really powerful, and it can also be used in post. Let's say you recorded a movie with multiple microphones. You can easily align all of those microphones, and it is really different than the audio alignment tool in uh, Cubase or Nuendo because this has to do with aligning. Let's say you have a main vocal with back vocals. It will align them so uh, they're really sync when it comes to timing, but not according to phase. So you can use this and then use Auto Align Pro and you will see a huge difference in the sound quality if you play them together. So this is a really cool tool. I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. So make sure to check it out and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.